Okay. And I'll just make an overall general observation, and this is to take, be taken into account whenever we have this come before us again, is that I did have the opportunity to sit down with you and, again, to get some more understanding of this agenda item. Um, when I spoke with another person on the board, they shared that they had, I don't know, they shared six or 12 hours to go through this item so that they understood at the end of the day, all of us are decision makers on this item. Absolutely. And this is a very dense agenda item that has a lot of background information that is not clear by the information provided. And with such an item like this being brought forward in the future, I would like to have some more information prior to being asked to make a vote on it from when we get the agenda book. Well, if I can call it too, I mean, this is uh, the county manager's agenda book. Not the commissioners, it's the county manager's agenda book. Mm -hmm. And for 20 years, our county has enjoyed a very conservative, fiscally strong policy and procedure reputation, not only in the industry, but for the triple AAA ratings we get for 18 years in a row now from the, the rating agencies. That triple AAA is, is put in place because not only because of economic conditions but leadership, but because of the process and procedures and the protocol we use to to evaluate and allocate our funds and resources associated with those priorities brought forward by staff. So the evaluation of our processes and procedures is one that's very, very clearly articulated, very clearly followed, and has been. And it's under the leadership of the county manager that for the last 20 years we've had the slow, smallest budget We've had the lowest number of people. We've had um, just enjoyed just an incredible, an incredible reputation in the whole entire country for what we do and how we do it. Our job as administrators, our job as the commissioner, commissioners, are to be policy makers, policy deciders, and then we're to oversee and turn the operation and the delegation of the responsibility for execution of the budget once we approve it to the county manager. And quite frankly, I see the scrutiny to this level about an agenda item dealing with budgets that have been done this way for 20 years, and you approved the same type of agenda item last year. Mm -hmm. I see that as a complete insult to the county manager. I see it as a lack of confidence in the county manager and his work and his ability, and quite, con quite quite frankly, if there's a if there's a trust issue, if there's a confidence issue with his judgment and the way he goes about bringing his agenda items forward, I wish that the, the commissioner would make time to meet with him when he makes himself available, 24/7, 365, to meet with any commissioner anytime, anywhere, to talk about any agenda item, no matter when and how it's presented and talk to that leadership issue that he's evidently falling down on in terms of his ability to manage this. And I would just, uh, mm. we've all had this book from, uh, this is my 12th, 12th one of these that I've approved. I know it comes every year. Mm. I'm prepared for it every year. I know that in, in, in June we'll get the digest. In August, September we'll approve the budget. In November, December we'll get the fund balance allocation. You all have the month, the monthly be, monthly budget meetings in which you're allowed to talk to the, the CFO and the department about any allocation, proposed allocations, to suggest that you didn't have enough time to scrutinize this is an insult to the county manager and the staff, and, and I need to have that publicly recognized. I, we I, have a mm -hmm. motion and we have a second. Are there any other comments? Definitely another comment, because I would like to respond, because I think that um, some comments were made that I don't think are, um, accu are accurate reflection of me having an inquiry about an agenda item. Anytime there is an agenda item that is brought forward where there is a question, any commissioner has the opportunity to provide question, and there have been items brought forward to us that have been less complex, that have been pulled for further discussion. So to think that because I am questioning an item which has significant detail or have requested to discuss an item which has significant detail, all of a sudden shows disrespect for a staff person or multiple staff persons would fly in the face of those other items, which I have never heard the chairman say show disrespect to any of those staff persons associated with that item. And I think that is an unfair um, 
representation of my inquiry today. I'd also like to share that my my um, inquiry today has nothing to do with this county's triple triple A rating, which all of us hold dear and esteem, and which of course has been um, achieved through the leadership of our county manager your leadership, Jim Pearson, the chairman's leadership, and other leaders here in Cobb County. And to think that inquiry about a budgetary item goes to disrespecting or not appreciating the value of that triple, triple A rating is, again, I think an inaccurate perception or reflection of my inquiry today over one agenda item. Okay, I would also like to share, I was elected in 2012. Last year was my first year. I do not have the level of experience that the chairman has being here for 12 years, which I think is to be respected. So if it will behoove me to be a little bit more um, savvy and, or a little bit more um, knowledgeable or to want more information in my second year in office and I would have my first, I think that would be expected from someone as they gain information by serving here on this board. And again, I will say that I find that the chairman's um, representation of me and my inquiry today is inaccurate and is a gross, um, is, is a grossly um, inaccurate reflection of my inquiry. My point is simply this, Commissioner. If you have questions, we've had this agenda book since Thursday. We've had ample time for questions. The county manager has made himself available. And I, I have made myself I, available too. Well, I, and I have I made just, myself I available too. I respectfully disrespect. We because tried. I was, you tried to get a hold of me today after I made a commitment here today. Just a minute, please. I wasn't finished talking. No, no but again, you want you want to defame me publicly. No. So I will. I know. Yes, you do. <laughs> so I I will speak to that. If we know for weeks in advance that there is an agenda item like this being brought forward. There has been many times where staff has brought to the attention of the commissioners items which may cause question, items which may um, have significant detail. They have brought that forward prior to even putting it in the agenda book. So to ask me, because I have a question about something, to be made available within less than 24 hours after I've made plans. No, I, was, I made myself fully available on Monday for, for anybody to come talk to me, of which persons who knew that I had questions about this item came and spoke to me about it. Now, for those who want to hunt me down with the, la with the, the um, last, for, for today, even less than 24 hours, to me, there has been much more time provided to do that. And I'm not going to be hunting down people for information which they could have provided to me weeks in advance. Well, I have to take that in consideration since your email came after Monday when you were available. But so here we go. We have a motion and we have a second. Is there any other comments? Call a question. There's there's motion. a question here as to whether or not the clerk has recorded a motion and a second. On this item. On this item. I make a motion that we uh, approve item 20 as presented. I thought I already did that. Would you like me to read the, the recommendation? The Board of Commissioners approved county reserves as recommended, authorized appropriation of the approved reserve funds into the FY15 budget and further authorized the corresponding budget transactions. That will be my motion. This is a second by Commissioner Ott. Any comments? Call the question. The motion carries 4-1 with Commissioner Cupid in opposition. That takes us to another item. <laughs>